the piece together is called learn and play. So um, one side is learn and one side is play. And the learn side is really talking about the history of the Tin Pin area. And um, it kind of gives, it gave me the opportunity to really um, talk a little bit about the neighborhood, some of the interesting architecture of the neighborhood, how the neighbor, neighborhood came about with the, you know, being a trolley stop, which is how the neighborhood developed. And it also gave me an opportunity to, you know, once I found out that Ralph Ellison was, uh, grew up in this area, it was, it was a great opportunity to include him in, in the mural. I feel like he's someone who, uh, a prominent Oklahoman who doesn't really get his due uh, as often as he should and just a great opportunity to include him. So that kind of just talks a little bit about the history and then uh, the other side is play which is really focusing more on McKinley Park and and what a park is. It's just a, it's a fun person a fun place to play and I really wanted to showcase you know a timeless activity of kids outside running and having fun and um, and I just you know flying kites seems to be this timeless thing that's the same as it is today as it was 100 years ago and uh, and I'm sure 100 years from now it's going to be the same as well. Play is a scene that shows kids running um, and I really wanted to focus on uh, the diversity uh, in, in the neighborhood itself and showcase that in the mural so you'll see a wide group of, of, of kids from, from different races and genders and ages all out and joining the park and um, kind of showcase a little bit of the, the architecture and um, really um, using lots of vivid colors to depict, you know, a nice, beautiful Oklahoma sunset, something that we're, you know, famous for here in Oklahoma and really kind of showcasing, you know, the glazes and, and the, with the color choices that are there, real vibrant, real playful. Again, all just kind of coming together to um, have this really nice result with the mosaic itself. With Learn, stylistically, we wanted to match the play side. So since we were doing an actual mosaic on the play side, Learn, we wanted to have the look of a mosaic. So, um, and when you're working with uh, a mosaic, especially the kind where we were hand cutting these tiles, um, you don't want to have large swaths of area that you know you might do if you're just painting an area out. So we kind of we broke it down into smaller sections. It's almost the same process as we would start a mosaic with. I do my drawing based on how I know those pieces will go together, how big they are, how I can easily handle them, what will fit in the kiln, stuff like that. Um, so based off that, we just created that drawing um, that would be basically a template for a mosaic but instead of moving into clay we just painted it piece by piece on the wall. The Class and Tin Pin neighborhood is a, uh, a member of the Strong Neighborhood Initiative and they were really interested in getting uh, a mosaic done with some of those federal funds and um, I'm just really thankful that the the community was interested in, in using some of those funds to do public art, invest in public art.